When we exchange money, we are exchanging work. To get money, we must work for it, then exchange it for the goods and services we desire. This is how it works for just about everyone, except banks. Commercial banks created out of thin air in exchange for our promise to pay the amount created back at a future time. We must work for it, but banks get to create it out of nothing because they, and only they, can monetize promissory notes. This is a key narrative, maybe the most powerful story most people don't know, a story that dominates their lives without them understanding the first thing about it. The legal reality is banks don't take deposits and banks don't lend money. So what is a deposit? A deposit is not actually a deposit. It's not a bailment. It's not held in custody. Uh, at law, the word deposit is meaningless. The law courts and various judgments have made it very clear if you give your money to a bank, even though it's called a deposit, this money is simply a loan to the bank. That's true. Yeah. So there is no such thing as a deposit. So There's you think it's poorly and it's adequately named then? So mm. banks borrow from the public. Okay, so that much we've established. What about lending? Surely they're lending money. Um, no, they don't. Banks don't lend money. Banks, again, at law, it's very clear, they're in the business of purchasing securities. That's it. So you say, okay, don't you know, confuse me with all that legalese. No. I want a I, loan, I want a loan. Yeah. Fine, here's the loan contract, here's the offer letter, and you sign. At law, it's very clear, you have issued a security, namely a promissory note, and the bank is going to purchase that. That's what's happening Put at Put it law. in layman's terms. What does that mean? It means that um, what the bank is doing is very different from what it presents to the public that it's doing. How does this fit together? So you say, fine, the bank purchases my promissory note, but how do I get my money? I want, you know, it's a I loan. Want I want 200 my grand, right? I don't, don't care about the details, I want the money. The bank will say, well, you'll find it in your account with us. That would be technically correct. If they say, we'll transfer it to your account, that's wrong, because no money is transferred at all. It's already From in the bank. anywhere inside the bank or outside the bank. Why? Because what we call a deposit is simply the bank's record of its debt to the public. Now it also owes you money and its record of the money it owes you is what you think you're getting as money. And that's all it is. The money narrative is a good example of how false beliefs distort our lives. Most assume it is what it appears to be. But as we drill down, we find there are two kinds of money. One form is what we work to earn. The other kind is what banks loan us. Imagine a friend who had a special printer, one that printed dollars. How would we feel if upon signing an IOU, he printed out the money and demanded we paid it back with interest? Would we feel as if we were being robbed? Certainly what he loaned us and what we paid back would be considered quite different things. Yet this is how modern banking works.